how to or how to understand this whole phenomenon of monsoon for that matter you will find hello guys welcome to plutus is this is akshay guru faculty geography so today i am here again with one of the most interesting topic that really forms a soul of our indian culture and economy this particular topic that we are going to uh, discuss today right in its whole detail is all about the climatic conditions those are prevailing okay those are prevailing over in the tropical region if you ask uh, vladimir kopein so he is like this climatic condition that that is precisely why what known as this monsoon it is prevalent in tropical region as such and hence he tagged is or categorized it in a type of climatic condition if you ask like say this tropic monsoon the literal meaning of this term so the literal meaning of this term actually there you know a kind of deep doubt over okay or kind of a confusion over what exactly forms the root word of this right which like say for example if you like based on al birani okay if you like based on al birani in his kitab al-bun so he has mentioned that there is like a monsoon so the root word that it seems may be like of arabic origin mosin that mean seasons that means season or it may be like a kind of again a confusion that this term may be of malayan origin okay malayan origin so there is a kind of debate but still whatever you will find the meaning of this root word mosi it means seasons and this monsoon then it must subscribe to some seasonal climatic conditions as such yes like the very root meaning it is what about season and this monsoon then it must be something in connection with the season now uh, i have asked like number of times okay in num- in almost all batches what do you mean by monsoon and you know what the most common answer i uh, received from that particular uh, like batch all those batches in fact monsoon is rainfall monsoon is precipitation but believe me guys that is absolutely not a case monsoon is not at all like a phenomena that is merely a rainfall now it may be kind of a by product of a phenomena or of a particular activity climatic conditions but it is absolutely not a rainfall okay so like don't consider okay or don't mention how and why i'll be explaining but at least at the first don't ever consider monsoon is literally equals to rainy season or rainfall no monsoon is something that is outcome of okay sorry the uh, rainfall is something that is outcome of say climatic phenomena or like wind movement like to be more precise see the definition of this monsoon that is given in syllabus okay see when the syllabus for ncert as well the monsoon is a seasonal reversal of the wind system 
Monsoon is a seasonal reversal of event conditions. Now, guys, have a look over. Did you find any mention of rainfall or precipitation over in this term? Because what usually, what we have a misconception that monsoon is rainfall. But in the definition, you never, okay, you will, if you go through, uh, say, you gone through any of the standard definition of monsoon, that is absolutely, okay, it does, means it does not include this rainfall or precipitation as its key term or ingredient of definition. The reason being, see, because monsoon is a result of wind systems and their movement. Wind systems and their movement. That lead to as a byproduct a rainfall or precipitation in different parts of the world as like in India. So, see, now in this definition, there are three key words. I would say three key words. The first is like a seasonal, second, reversal and of what? The wind systems. So, a seasonal, if you try to like understand the meaning of each of this term, then you will get to know about the real meaning of monsoon. See, seasonal, there are two seasons as in summer and winter. Summer and winter. The second key term is like a reversal. Reversal it means for like that is something counter that is something like against reverse yeah or i would say opposite you know just to help you uh, to understand this particular term reversal and of what of the wind systems now which are wind systems that these wind systems are simply trade winds or wind systems trade wind systems yeah. and the topic of winds they right, you must be aware about there are three different types of global winds trade winds westerly and polar easterly trade winds are also known as trade easterly so trade winds are basically having two types of work. see trade winds are having three types the first one they find south East trade wind, which later transform into South West. How will be discussing this? South East trade wind, then North East trade wind. Yeah? In NCRDs and even in the rest of the group, you'll find a real time global wind distribution uh, diagram. Then you will find, say, this nation of acres. Now, see, in the definition itself, there are, say, some division of it, okay, some part of it. Like seasons, summer, winter, like wind systems, southeast trade winds and northeast trade winds. Two winds and two seasons are, and kind of a reversal of phenomena is as well there. Yeah, kind of a reversal phenomena is there. So, can we consider it as like, say, in one season, you will find one move, the moment, not say a wind there, and another will find that another wind that is blowing. See how. In summer, there is like a movement of southeast trade wind in region, okay, or in like over in the tropical region. In winter, you will find the, the movement of northeast trade winds, okay, which later transform into north to west trade winds actually. So, Southeast trade winds, northeast trade winds, they are having their occurrence in respect to seasons. And their direction is what I would say, like in counter current manner. This too, like if you try to understand this direction of two winds, 
from east to west to north and south. You will find south east trade winds. Okay. These are like having their origin in this fashion, origin in southeast and moving toward northwest and northeast. They are like, say, having this particular direction of origin. And this winds are due to some factor of Coriolis force or directional influence on the wind led by the rotation of the earth's surface, you will find, say, these winds are then blowing counter to okay, or opposite to the other wind system. And hence, wait, not at the same moment, but in a different seasonal time. Okay, don't get confused. So, at a different seasonal time, you will find this then lead to a seasonal moment of this wind system. Yeah. So, what is monsoon? Monsoon is not a rainfall directly, it is not a, rain, a precipitation directly. It is rather a movement of wind system which is based on season and that too, like in exactly counter wind. So, it is a seasonal reversal of the wind systems. Now, if this is what the case, then how to or how to understand this whole phenomenon of monsoon? For that matter, you will find there are number of theories as such proposed. Okay, those are being proposed by different uh, scholars, climatologists, meteorologists, rather. Now, say one of the first and like by means of theories, okay, by means of theories, we will try to understand what exactly this phenomena is. That what in the in terms of definition, we first have somehow like try to clear, make it clear. Monsoon, what exactly is a wind system? Now, how this wind system and why these wind systems are blooming? Now, there is the one concern that is uh, one of the first scientific attempt just to explain this fact. Like Alberini, he was like that is absolutely a sea breeze and land breeze. That according to Alberini, right, and maybe Arab scholars as well that time, and maybe a few Indians as well, you'll find this monsoon or this wind systems are simply a result of a sea breeze and land breeze or simply interaction between land and continent and even the same proposition with some scientific covering okay you will find say proposed by helen and you meant helen somewhere around in 18 times 17th and 19th century, you'll find this concept was being proposed by him. What exactly this concept includes? See, we'll try to understand it mainly with, uh, uh, with respect to okay, India. So, according to Edmund Helen, the concept of monsoon is simply again sea breeze or land breeze kind of thing. That is simply a phenomena that is inherently connected with the land and temperature contrast, land and continent temperature contrast. And therefore, this phenomena, this concept of theory, itself known as thermal concept, because it traces its very root. It stresses its very basic development that is in connection with the temperature conditions. And hence, thermal concept. See, now what exactly? What happened, right? Because the monsoon, it is about seasons, right? So what happened in the month of summer? In the month of summer, like over in the region of the Central Asian region, okay? Like which is like that region that is uh, uh, having a desertic presence, mainly Hard desert, uh, the Pakistani desert, the further Iranian desert, you will find uh, Central Asian desert as well. Okay? In Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, that region. You will find the Central Asian region, okay, along tropical margins, 
say this region receives like high temperature okay because high uh, insulation is there and high temperature and now you must be aware about this fact that temperature is inversely proportional to pressure when the system is open yeah i'm not going into that detail ke wo fir se relation kaise hota hai but yeah temperature is in directly proportional to pressure and as temperature when the system is open and compressive condition to which you are it is on topic of the cancer the perpendicularity rising in month of march april may high temperature low pressure condition you will find getting developed over here and what happened say next to the equator in the summer there they as solar radiations are inclined okay as solar radiations are inclined the temperature condition somewhere in the central pacific region like this temperature conditions are low when this low temperature conditions it gives rise to high pressure conditions high pressure conditions yes so low pressure and high pressure gradient is as such created that uh what is the role of this gradient then the role of this gradient is what to drive wind system you must be like as we know wind is simply a movement of air in well defined direction and that direction is defined or identified with the base of gradient of pressure high pressure to low pressure so wind moves from high pressure to what has been uh, from this particular margin of high pressure you will find winds are then moving towards low pressure region and as this winds are like trade winds are as this winds are moving over an oceanic region they will carry some moisture along with and when as and when conditions are suitable conditions are favorable you will find leads to precipitation there itself that is what it is so see winds are not moving just for the purpose of rain pour to bring a rain pour no winds are moving it just due to there exists this pressure gradient there low pressure high pressure and this is what happen in summer this winds are as having their origin in the south to west direction sorry ha huh, south west so this is like south west trend winds and that's why our monsoon is known as in the month of summer southwest monsoon now what happened in the like other part of the uh, that year when say conditions are now pretty much changed what happened in the months of winter they the same region or maybe like himalaya that particular region which is like uh, having a ice or frozen conditions over there in the months of winter the conditions are getting further more uh, uh, cooler because solar radiations are not now perpendicular over on tropic of cancer rather the solar radiations are perpendicular on tropic of capricorn and what happened here low temperature conditions are prevalent where in the region of tibet in the region of malaj and the further extension and like the counter conditions over here right those are developed in high temperature condition because solar radiations are more perpendicular over in say this tropic of cancer southern indian oceanic part so low temperature it is high pressure high temperature it to low pressure now it then drives a movement of wind system okay this wind systems are moving like in this fashion in the months of winter and as they are having their origin in north east direction they are like known as north east wind as in the tropical region so not getting there must be trade winds in them first and as this winds are mainly having like for the case of india if you consider mainly like having the origin from the land mass and moving over on the indian land mass itself they are devoid of moisture and lead to comparatively less 
rainfall or precipitation. I hope this like this explanation for summer and winter for thermal concept okay given by Edmund Halley is like pretty much easy to understand. Oh well, as you know, like this phenomena is not as simple like what this Edmund Halley has such imagined. Because monsoon is not literally sea breeze and land breeze, huh? Maybe like extended for a few thousands of kilometers. But this phenomenon is not merely a reflection of temperature, but rather this phenomena is actually a highly complex factor. And that's why when you'll find like UPSC in uh, like 2022 optional, there was a question to why IMB has a repeated, uh, you know, failure in prediction of monsoon. Because the monsoon system is inherently a complex phenomenon. That is inherently a complex phenomenon. Okay, we'll be like, uh, discussing this. Now, the second then theory, right? That is actually, again, there are many propositions in this NL, but we are trying to limit ourselves. So, dynamic theory or dynamic concept given by Flom. In 1951, dynamic concept, and this dynamic concept it uses the understanding, okay, of the knowledge of IPCZ, intertropical convergence zone. Simply, what is intertropical convergence zone? It is simply the zone line between tropics, intertropical, so between tropics and convergence, convergence of what like two wind systems. So this zone. That usually lies 5 degree north, 10 degree north, or up to 5 degree south, right? So, this zone, which is highly dynamic in nature, which changes the position, the shifting positions of the sun. Like, if perpendicularity of the sun is on the topic of Cancer, that means uh, like summer solstice, you'll find IPC that is now shifting more towards topic of Cancer. If it is not towards topic of Capricorn in the month of winter solstice, you'll find moving towards topic of Capricorn. So, ITC that is simply where this combined duo, okay, or this wind system are trying to merge into. So, what according to dynamic concept, you will find, say, this dynamic concept, it like believes in the role of ITC there and its movement, okay, along with. So ITCZ, which is usually like over in this fashion. Okay, this is what where this north trade wind and south trade winds are supposed to get merged into right, each other. But what happened? See, as this ITCZ is having highly dynamic behavior, highly fluctuating position, this winds have to, you know, say changes their destination of origin as well. And they, they have to either shorten their length or uh, distance or either have to migrate a lot, okay, in comparison. So what happened in the months of summer? See, what happened in the months of summer? According to Flon, in the months of summer, when the perpendicularity is on Tropic of Cancer, 23 and a half degree, ITC there is having like a tendency to reach, okay, like towards Tropic of Cancer. It is more uh, deviating over on the uh, continent and comparatively less on ocean that way. So it should be like this way. Sorry. This way. Now, as this IT is here, it defines the point of destination. Not ITC is bound with destination of this mixing or convergence. You will find the southeast trade winds, which like were either getting merged over in the tropical region, over in the equatorial region, equator and that around. What happened? Say the southeast trade winds, they need to like say high pressure, low pressure condition, the obvious eh? that is in existence. However, say this I southeast trade winds. They need to, they have to cross an equator, zero in the equator. And now, what happened due to this fact? You know, 
there is a Coriolis force. Coriolis force is simply that force that is harming its origin due to rotation of the earth and that leads to a change in the direction of the moving wind. And due to the southeast trade winds there, right, encroachment in the northern hemisphere from southern hemisphere, see the southern hemispheric Coriolis force is invisible in and northern hemispheric Coriolis force is now operating point. And what? Say this Coriolis force, it leads to a rightward bending. It leads to a rightward bending of this winds. And then this winds, right? They takes like this bend and moving in this direction. See, the direction is now east, west, north and south. The direction is having their origin in southwest, moving towards the northeast. These winds are southwest trade winds. They again, right, will do the same thing, will pick up the moisture and as and when conditions are suitable, favorable, they to precipitation there. So, so you will find this is what happened during the month of summer. Now what happened in the months of winter? Then in the months of winter, you will find conditions are a bit different. What? In the months of winter, you will find ITCZ, which was like located towards, okay, topic of cancer due to perpendicular solar radiation. Now, this ITCZ boundary is now shifting towards topic of Capricorn. The reason being shifting position of the perpendicular solar radiation. Now, during the winter solstice, 22nd of December and the December and that around, you will find, see, ITCZ shifted to topic of Capricorn, that region. And then, say, accordingly, winds need to, you know, cross the position. Winds need to, like, cross their position as well. And, what happened now in the winters? You will find the ITC in their boundary is like up to this mark. Huh? 23 half. So, this northeast trade winds, say all along, say this northeast trade wind, they like moves over in the tropical region of northern hemisphere where the Coriolis force of northern hemisphere is applicable rightward. However, as soon as this wind crosses equator, you will find it leads to their bending towards their left because Coriolis force leads to a anti clockwise or leftward bending of wind and then this winds now moving towards the left now if you try to press their name east west north south these winds are having their origin in northwest moving towards southeast these winds are north west trade winds it carries moisture and lead to precipitation that is what northwest monsoon for Australia, for like Africa, for South America and that particular region. So, for India, the same wind, right? They are northeastern in their direction. That's why known as northeast monsoon. For India, these winds are, are for in tropical northern hemisphere. These are what? Rather, northeast trade winds or northeast monsoon. And this is how Say, <clears throat> Flon tried to explain it with the help of the role of ITC. Though, in the later phase, you will find in 1950s, uh, like P. Koteshwaram, or like you know, Walker as well, or in like after 1972, the uh, Monex expedition, like there is a joint expedition by India and uh, Russia, USSR at that time. So, they have gathered a lot of information from where the dating know about the role of Tibetan plateau there, the role of 
jet streams like the after second world war and that the combined effect of all this phenomena actually then lead to this movement of wind system that is monsoon trade wind system i hope this topic uh, it seems now uh, pretty much clear that monsoon is not a rainfall it is not merely a precipitation it is rather an, uh, like outcome of the movement of this trade wind system okay those pick up the moisture and lead to precipitation just like when the conditions are favorable so the movement of monsoon is mainly like due to low pressure high pressure and in that effect due to the shifting position of the sun so this is all about for uh, monsoon i hope this uh, explanation is seems pretty much clear to you guys thank you and have a good time Thank you.